Listen up, everyone. Nikki seriously playing the villain these days, caught up in her own drama. It's not just her, though. Nikki Menage and Cardi B are neck deep in what's turning into the ultimate showdown of disastrous husbands. Cardi's man, Offset, has been the talk of the town, caught red-handed and still being called out for fathering a child with another woman behind Cardi's back. Nikki, seizing the moment for some mischief, decided to throw shade at Cardi. But Cardi wasn't having any of it and hit back hard. She not only ridiculed Nikki for her own questionable marital choices, but also hinted at dark desires harbored by Nikki's husband. And just when you think it couldn't get more heated, someone escalates it by airing out dirty laundry about Nikki's supposed substance issues. So, grab your popcorn because Nikki and Cardi are back in the ring, duking it out in a no-holds-barred clash. Now, let's dive into the social media storm where Offset and Cardi are all the buzz. Thanks to a lady named Blue who came forward with proof that Offset might have gotten her friend pregnant. It kicked off when Pry and another pal, Kayla, targeted Blue online, exposing her personal details in a vicious attack. But Blue wasn't about to retreat quietly. She struck back with her own biting words. Posting my address was low, but honey, I can go lower since this is about someone's husband. She further revealed, it's all because a married man impregnated someone, forced a termination in exchange for hush money, and now everyone thinks I'm the snitch, but no, it was the other girl involved spilling the beans. Honestly, I'm done caring because if you can broadcast my address, why keep any secrets? Amid this, Pry tries to intimidate Blue with a cryptic message about breaking a non-disclosure agreement, but Blue claps back with ferocity. Judging me over an NDA, Pry? You think I care? You've been messing with me since March, and it's clear he's told you I'm bound by an NDA, even sent you my full name. Yet, no one else was supposed to know but him, me, and Morris. It appears Offset had paid Pry a hefty $155,000 to resolve the pregnancy drama discreetly, and the same amount to Blue to keep her quiet. But that's not the end of it. Turns out, Offset had also enlisted their friend Kayla to add fuel to the fire, paying her to confront Blue as he panicked over the possibility of his secrets being revealed. This messy saga unfolds further as Blue exposes more with. Buddy tried to buy my silence with $15,000. I stayed true to my word. And then, on the very same day, Kayla tried to ambush me. She shared text exchanges with Offset where he seems to threaten her for disclosing his deeds to Cardi. Offset's messages read like a threat. You'll learn not to mess with me. You're nothing but a liar stirring up trouble. To which Blue responded, You think sending Kayla after me would scare me into silence. I never breathe a word to anyone. She recounted how Kayla confronted her aggressively at a bar, presumably sent by Offset and Pry, pushing her to defend herself. This reveals Offset's deep-seated paranoia as he desperately tries to keep Cardi in the dark about his infidelities. In a last-ditch effort, he even attempted to coerce the blogger who broke the news, bombarding them with threats in an attempt to control the narrative. Why you lying to my wife, man? You got her thinking all sorts of nonsense. If you got an issue, settle it without dragging her into this mess. The blogger stood their ground, firing back, hold up, don't get twisted coming at me with accusations. I never said anything to your wife, and I didn't start this rumor. Get your facts straight before you come at me. And as if this tangle couldn't get more complicated, a juicy piece of gossip hints that Pry might not be the only one carrying Offset's child, stirring up even more chaos in what's already a wildfire of drama. The dirt's out, folks. A blind item spilled that this married, solo named rapper who was once a trio member just can't stop impregnating women left and right, and his star-studded wife seems to just roll with the punches. Until, of course, these women decide to keep the kids, piling up future child support bills she'll be stuck with. Fans have long warned Cardi about this ticking time bomb because Offset has a notorious rep for spreading his love far too wide. His escapades include cozying up to Instagram beauties across the map. Flashback to 2018, when Cardi, upon discovering Offset's fling with Jade, lost it completely, resulting in a notorious bar brawl involving thrown bottles and drinks at Jade and her sister while they worked. 
This explosive reaction led to serious legal drama, culminating in Cardi's guilty plea to charges of reckless endangerment, sentencing her to a brief stint of community service. Yet, this wasn't Offset's first rodeo with infidelity. Recall when he was caught red-handed trying to arrange a threesome with Cuban Doll and her friend. His proposition was brazen. I want you and Cuban. Can you make that happen? I'm heading to New Orleans tomorrow. I'll arrange your flights there. See you Saturday. Cuban Doll publicly scorned Cardi after the fact, tweeting. Praying for a man who marries just to cheat is the ultimate disrespect. Girl, just stop. We had no issues until your passive-aggressive tweets. Since Offset tried to hook up, we haven't been cool. These are fighting words, girl. Indeed, Offset's affairs were more than just flings. They were outright humiliating for Cardi, often flaunted by his side chicks online, even when she tried desperately to keep things low-key. Like that time in 2018 when she filed for divorce, telling the world, it's been rocky for a while, but there's no bad blood. Maybe we just fell out of love, but we're done. Yet, inexplicably, another unknown mistress surfaced, throwing more fuel on the fire with her confessions. I haven't been with Offset since the baby. Didn't realize their marriage was that deep. I see stuff, but didn't grasp it all, not until today, witnessing everything. Many would brag about taking Cardi's man or being their breakup catalyst, but honestly, I'm just embarrassed. Clearly, Offset has a penchant for outspoken ladies and loves the limelight even if it means putting Cardi in awkward spots. Now with rumors of not one, but potentially two more pregnancies, it's no shocker that Cardi is distancing her assets from Offset. Insiders say while they both earn big during their union, the lion's share of their wealth is courtesy of Cardi's smart moves. She's the saver and investor, while Offset, well, he's the spender. They own two homes, one in Atlanta for Cardi and the kids, and another in New Jersey for her mom. Both, thankfully, are under Cardi's name, safeguarding her interests. Offset's financial facade doesn't hold up to reality. The man is not nearly as loaded as he portrays, no more for his lavish spending than accruing assets. And without Cardi? Well, let's just say his outlook might not be so plush. Amidst this chaos, Nikki's relishing the drama. As Cardi and Offset's saga unfolded, she cryptically tweeted, Who's awake? Just found out something juicy. Sources claim Nikki's delight in their turmoil isn't just skating fruit. It's partly relief, given the recent drag through the mud her own husband, Kenneth Petty, endured over his shady past involving sexual assault allegations, which resurfaced mere weeks ago. The controversy shook their marriage, even prompting Nikki to tweet about being single now, stirring fans' hopes that she might ditch Kenneth whose past actions and ongoing legal troubles have been nothing but detrimental to her image. Kenneth's criminal record includes a manslaughter conviction for killing a man named Lamont Robinson in 2002, a crime for which he served seven years of a 10-year sentence, followed by five years of supervised release. Throughout their relationship, Nikki has defended Kenneth against online backlash, once arguing, he was young, she was young. People on the internet love to judge, but you can't manage my life. Heck, you can't even manage yours. Clearly, Cardi and Nikki find themselves in eerily similar marital disasters. Cardi's grappling with Offset's ceaseless infidelities, while Nikki contends with Kenneth's criminal past and the repercussions it brings. It's high time, fans argue, for both women to cut ties and perhaps, as some cheekily suggest, consider pairing up themselves. The consensus, both are stuck with embarrassingly problematic husbands, their personal dramas unfolding publicly, their marital blunders only seconds apart from the next scandal. The entire scenario is downright insane. What's your take? Should these women ditch their disastrous marriages and start anew? Team Cardi or Team Nikki? Drop your thoughts and join the conversation below. Don't forget to check out the next video for more updates.